Hello YouTube, it's me Piano Hands, but today I'm going to show you something special. So I'm going to start a series called um, How to Play, How to Solo in Between Groups. Mm, I know a lot of persons have been expecting that topic, so How to Solo in Between Groups. So I'm going to be using this popular song, You Are the Lord, That Is Your Name. It's a very popular gyration song and we are using a gyration loop and um, gyration stroke area loop. So we just go right straight to the point. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And thanks for joining in my channel. <music> Okay, so um, whereby we're still talking about how to solo, what do I mean by how to solo with, inside a groove? Now, there's a particular groove for each song. Like, let me take a groove for this song, for example, now. See, you are... Okay, I'm going to let it roll up. Then I'm going to write let it roll up. So if I'm doing... You are there... That's the groove for this song. So with this groove alone, the song sounds nice. But then how do you solo inside the groove? And I'm going to show you how. But then let's just enjoy the groove. So... Uh, I like to show the different techniques of how to solo in between groups and the last one is my favorite so don't forget to watch to the end of this video because at the end of this video I'm going to show you something crazy. So I'm going to be playing on key F and I'm using number patterns on sofa notes, you know that's how we roll. And I'm going to show you first of all, I like to carry everyone along. So I'm going to show you the groove I'm going to use and I'm going to show you the solo. So the groove is a very simple popular universal gyration groove. So something like... You are the Very simple. So what am I playing? Mm -hmm. So eight three. Let me take on the volume a little. So I'm playing. So eight three five eight six. That's the first one. So which is do mi so do la. So you have that for you are the la. Then the second one. That is your name. So this one now you're doing eight. Eight four six eight six. So do fast, do fa la do la. So you will never. You come back again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this one you're not doing anymore. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you're doing seven two five seven six, which is T re so T la. Then I do, you will never, you come back again. Mm, 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 you go again. Mm, 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 mm. So it's just revolving around these three grooves. Mm, 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 mm. Then that's just what it's revolving about. Around. So that is it. So, um, very simple very crazy so that is it now for your left hand you can decide to either vamp i'm not playing any left any left technique but you can vamp so you can do something like this dun, dun, dun. So you're just vamping around the progression of the chord. If it's a chord one, you vamp on chord one. I'm using an Aprego bass line here. So you can just use your regular chords four, five to vamp on that side. 
so that is it so let's call this the groove for this song i'm gonna play it and then uh, remember there are other ways to spice up the groove but that's not what i'm talking about right now right now i'm talking about how to solo in between these grooves crazy so let's just play this song one more time and see you <laughs> Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try soloing inside the groove and the very crazy technique. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video interesting or if you're enjoying this video just subscribe drop a comment and tell me where you're watching from i like to hear from you not just like i really love to hear from you okay so let's go right away okay the moment of truth boom so i'm doing mm -hmm. Now, if you watch what I did, it's a little bit crazy. I'm going to show you the techniques right away. So, whenever you have your groups around each part of the songs, you now have to sac sacrifice some, you know, the groove runs within a particular time to a particular time. So sometimes, like this one around one, two, so it runs for two seconds. One, okay, four seconds. One, two, three, four. Mm, so you're not going to sacrifice some seconds out of that groove. So you're not going to play the groove for the full seconds which it is supposed to be played. You just play it, you sacrifice the groove for some seconds, then you solo within those seconds. For example, if I'm going to play the groove, if the groove is you are the line, two, three, four. I'm playing it for two times, but now I'm going to play it for one time. Then the remaining two seconds, I'm going to solo with it before I go to the next one. So you are the love. So you are the love. Then I go to the next group. You see, so I've done the before I went to the next group. So you are the I'm remembering I know where each of my grooves falls down. I'm just sacrificing some time out of the grooves to use it to solo. It gives me the time to solo, you understand? So you have to be very time conscious and calculative in this aspect so that you don't over solo when you're supposed to go to a next progression. For example, if I do you mm, are I'm, I'm supposed to have gone to four. So I'm seeing my one doing my solo. That's not good. So you have to check the particular timing of what you're doing. So that's what applies to it. Now, in creating your solo, you now have to be creative what you want to do. Right now, I'm not going to show you the kind of solo I'm doing. I just want to lay foundation for this topic. But this is what it is, whereby you're playing a song. Any song, it applies like that. You just have to sacrifice some time out of the... Some time you're going to spend on the groove. Use some time for the solo. Then the other time... So, so it's very simple. You are the so I know where I'm coming down. I know where I'm coming down and I know where I'm coming up. So that's very simple. And that is how you lay a foundation for how to solo. So let's just have some fun and see how this applies. Crazy. So, in the part of this video, I'm going to be showing you some solos I'm doing in between this groove. Do you understand? So, let me just save this. Call uh, Fire to Lord. Okay, quite easy. Save it. 
So I'm going to be showing you some solos. I ran through these grooves and um, how it applies. So for now, I think this is very helpful for you. So you go try it out. Don't forget, you can always send me a message on WhatsApp if you want this loop, or you can purchase other Ariaria loops and sounds to spice up your play. And that's it. I'm going to see you next time in my piano video. Bye.